Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. Okay. We have divine timing. Oh, don't we all love that card? Divine timing. We have healing. Accepting to grow, self-care. Okay, we have the star, Aquarius energy. We have nine of wands. All right, tell me about, let me turn on my little, I should have turned on my pumpkins, but it's a little like dark in here. But anyways, tell me about divine timing. Temperance, they're telling you to be patient. <laughs> I know you guys don't understand what I was like. I was already just like, you know, joking like, oh, don't we all love that divine timing concept? But no, now we have temperance too. So they're telling you, be patient. Something is happening in divine timing here. Yep, temperance, Sagittarius energy, turning out healing. So there's healing taking place. Oh, from the past. You guys are healing from the past. Your twin is healing from the past. Or Spirit is saying that in divine timing, you, there will be a reconciliation here after you and your twin heal. But there's some past traumas and hurts and stuff like that that need to be healed. Okay. Um, child, and it could be inner child for some of you. Yeah, we even have the star here. Lots of healing energy here. The fool, wow, yeah, leading to a new beginning. And you guys, yeah, it says the worst is over. Sense of optimism, hope and optimism. Yeah, they're telling you that they're, it's only up from here. Yeah, new love, new world of possibilities. I don't think it's so much that. Tell me about the nine of wands. They're telling you to persevere because, oh, now we have karmic partner. What is this about? I feel like this person is close. If you, If your person is with another person, a karmic, they're dealing with a karmic, they're that with the nine of wands here, that's close to coming to an end. Yep, five of pentacles, they're they're close to le leaving a situation, abandoning a situation, rejecting somebody, or what's the five of pentacles? Yes, yeah, it's hard to let go, resisting change. They feel like it's hard, they feel like it's hard to let that other situation. What is going on? We're vulnerable in love. Six of Wands. Okay, let's see. We need more clarifiers. It was like, it was all looking good. And then that Karmic Partner card came out. And I was like, what the hell? So why is Karmic Partner coming out? King of Pentacles. So some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. What about this King of Pentacles? The Lovers. Okay, so we have Gemini energy. So some of you guys are in a Twin Flame. Connect. Your Twin Flame is an Earth sign. A Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or you are, are a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. All right. Yeah. Wow. Guys, what is up with this energy today? Look what just came out. What? Look at this. King of Pentacles, the lovers, and the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is a double earth sign connection. That you guys are both earth signs. Or you and this person... Spirit is saying that this is your person. Like, you guys are supposed to be to get sit on the throne together. You guys are supposed to have, you guys are going to be very wealthy together. Like, you guys could even own a business together in the future. Or, like, just both, like, yeah, you're going to make a lot of money together. Or coming together, you guys are going to really be a powerhouse or something like that. I don't know, but, like, something, some type of union is coming together here. It could be between two earth signs. It doesn't have to be. If not, it's just saying that you and this person are going to be very abundant together. Okay, what about this this couple or this connection here? Wishing. It's like you guys are both yearning for each other, feeling very passionate about one another because you have this intense connection. Yeah. There's going to be, you guys are both wishing and hoping that you will be able to have a, be, an, a, a new beginning. You guys both see the potential in this connection. You guys both feel passionate about one another. Tell me more. Money for, what did I just say, guys? Something to do with money here. Money over love, money. What about money focus? The seven of swords, oof. What about that? The six of swords. The night, see, this person, I'm trying to, I'm telling you. This person was holding on to another situation. Yeah, a third party. They were holding on to this karmic partner. They're very close to being out of that situation, though. They're like trying, they're fighting. They're like trying to fight their way out of a situation is what I'm hearing. It's difficult for this person to leave this situation for whatever reason. We may take a look at that in a second. But there's two people that are meant to be together. 
okay? And you guys are both wishing and hoping for each other, very passionate about one another, okay? But what this person is trying to hide from you, they're trying to hide from you that they chose money over love. This has been coming out a lot in the collective. They're, gonna, they're trying to hide from you that they're having money issues or that money has been affecting their, like, why they haven't been, whatever, they're not committing to you, not get putting energy and effort into you. There's a situation that they've been hiding from you or lying to you about that they are actively trying to move away from or get themselves out of to be able to come in and to propose to you or to like offer you their love. Okay. But it's like, tell me more about this. Tell me more about, yeah. Tell me more about this. The queen of cups. Okay. So yeah. What about the queen of cups? Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the five of wands. See, yeah, they're fighting with somebody. Yep. There's that five of pentacles again. Didn't I just say this? So the person that they're leaving behind could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But they're having conflict with this person, bickering, conflict, opposition. They're fight, trying to fight their way out of a situation. Because maybe this other... Why are they fighting? Give me more clarity. I see strength. Yeah, it's like somebody is like... Ah, uh, yeah. So one of these people has gone cold on the other. So either your person has gone cold on this karmic... Or this karmic has gone cold on this person. But it's almost like your person has finally worked up the courage here, the strength and the courage to overcome their own obstacles or self, I heard self-sabotage. And it's like, they're, tell me what cold is ice. Date. Yeah, maybe they used to want to spend time with this person, but now they don't want to do this anymore. Like they're fighting with somebody because they don't even want to spend time with this person anymore. They don't want to deal with this person anymore. And I feel like this person, this other person, this karmic is not happy about this. So let me explain this better. There's a karmic around them that I feel like at some point they maybe were dealing with or spending time with or whatever. They had a relationship with this person. Now, since finding you, they don't want this person anymore. And this person is feeling very rejected by your twin, like, because your twin doesn't want to, like, be with them anymore. So, but they're, like, I feel like your person was sending them mixed signals. That's what the problem is. Like, I feel sometimes, like, your person would want to, like, deal with them or, like, spend time with them, whatever, sleep with them. And then at other times, they didn't want anything to do with them. But I feel like this is why it's, it's, it's messed up, because I feel like your person was doing that with an agenda. So tell me more about what this person's intentions are for my collective because for guys, I <laughs> Every, somebody asked me in my reading the other day, why are you laughing? Because it's funny. Okay. Like, cause it's, inter it's, it's, it's funny. It's always, it's like always crazy when like you get those confirmations, like, And I always do chuckle a little bit when it's like those readings where somebody like regrets, like they knew what they had and then they, they played around, they fucked, they fucked around and found out those types of readings. I, I do laugh at those too. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, but um, <laughs> the four of wands guys, this person wants to marry your ass. Okay. They want to wife you. They want to make you their husband. Okay. Yep. They want to live with you. They want to have a family. Yep. But why is the two of swords here? See, this person's been trying to choose between you, definitely trying to choose between you and somebody else, juggling two of swords, two of pentacles. See, this person was sending mixed signals to you and sending mixed signals to somebody else because they didn't know if they wanted you or this other person. But they know now. Why do they know now? Why are they, why are they choosing, um, why are they leading toward the collective now? Justice. Yeah, they feel like, because you guys have a soul contract. Libra, because that's what it's supposed to be like. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They're gaining clarity. Yeah, and now they have a lot of regret. Yep. Long wait. It's going to take a while. Queen of Wands. What about Queen of Wands? The Four of Pentacles. See, yeah. Somebody's still trying to hold on to him, to hold on to them, or they're trying to still hold on to somebody else. Or they, they, you know what they regret is holding on to another person for so long. I feel like three of wands. What are they, what's this? Why are they in with regret energy spirit? King of wands. What about that? 
They regret. See, what does this have to do with my collective, though? Queen of what about Queen of Cups? The Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they feel like you're the one that they love. They have another person here. For some of you, it's a water sign. For others of you, it's a it's a fire sign. But they regret holding on to somebody so long. I don't know. What does Ten of Pentacles mean for my collective? The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Swords. See? For some of you, they were married. What What's the issue here? The Ace of Wands. The uh, Yeah. It's like this person knows that they're sexually attracted to you. But they didn't, they don't, they weren't 100% sure like how they felt about you. Like what was, what they felt about you in their hearts, right? And they felt like you guys are very different. And maybe some of their friends and family didn't like you or something like that. Didn't approve of you. Take it how it resonates. But they're having a wake up call here. Lessons. Yeah. They're reevaluating things. They feel like you're the one that they should have invested in. Why is it that now they want to marry they're seeing you as the one that they want to marry. Why? They want to marry the collective now. They want to settle down with the collective. Tell me more about how they're they're getting to this point. See, why is money focused here? Hierophant. Clean up. What is money focused here? What a catch. Hiding feelings. What about... Five of Pentacles, see, awakening. What are they awakening to? The sun, yeah. Their love, yeah, that they want to spend more time with you. That, yeah, they want to offer you, they want to offer you something stable. It's very clear here. Wow, two of cups that they love you. Strong attraction, mutual connect, attraction, reunion. But they have to end something else to have this new beginning in love with you. And I feel like they're trying to do it swiftly. I'm going to be honest with you. There is something here. Like, I feel like there's something else about this person that feels like you got your shit together. Yeah, they. it's like, this is like Nine of Pentacles energy to me. Money focus, what a catch. Yeah, they know that you got your shit together. They're, they're, they have a fear of vulnerability, though. They feel like you're the one that they want to commit to, but they know that they have to clean up their, their life. Cut karmic ties, do the inner work to be able to be with you. I do see a lot of healing energy here. So I do feel like they're doing the work. I'll be honest with you. But yeah, didn't I say they're starting, yeah, they're starting to awaken or have a wake-up call. Feeling of oneness, surrendering, yeah, growth, renewal, joy, and happiness and love. Yeah, that they feel with you when they're with you. Steady union, yeah. But what is it? What's this five of pentacles? Maybe they don't feel like they have enough to give to you right now. What's the five of pentacles? The eight of swords. I'm telling you, they feel stuck in a situation due to money. Yeah, what about forbidden? Page of cups. Why is forbidden here? Somebody's not supposed to be talking to you. I don't know. They're not supposed to be talking to you. What about death, the moon? They need to end some type of complicated situation. Yeah, they were, they have a lot of regrets for making you wait so long. What is this? Tell me more about money focus. King of Cups. What about King of Cups? Hold on. Hanged man. They're gaining, somebody's getting a new perspective. What about Queen of Swords? Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You guys can maybe be in this energy where you're setting boundaries and it's like making this person look at things different. Of course it is. It's making them think about the future. It's making them think about what they want for the long term and what, what they want. Manifesting you. Wants you back moving into alignment. Six of Wands. Yeah, they feel like you're the one that they could have success with. They let their pride. Get, yeah, it's like they're being how they feel about you. Is being revealed to them like they already knew but it's more so like this person is surrendering to it like they're becoming very sure of it they knew how they were feeling but they just didn't trust it but it's like almost like they're becoming very sure of it now and they're like taking action on that oh hold on guys <laughs> so they have a karmic partner around them that is like they're fighting with they're staying with that. They've been dealing with that person for money, but they've been fighting with that person because they don't, they've been, they've gone very cold on that person or that maybe that, that person feels like your person has sent them mixed signals. Lord. It's like, they, I feel like the, the third party feels like sometimes your person wants them and sometimes they don't. <laughs>
We have fair is fair. Yeah, justice, balance, mutual benefit. We have the clock is slow. Like this person's been taking their sweet time, giving you something balanced and reciprocal. But Spirit says it's not the right time. That's why they're saying divine timing. Slow progress will take a while, which they did come out. Yeah. Rising star. Rec this person is going to give you the recognition that you deserve. This person is, there is going to be a favorable or a good outcome in this situation. Things are going to change. All right, wow. Didn't I say you and this person abundance? I'm telling you. Pro prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, knowing your self-worth and value. We have the unexpected. Some of you guys can be having like some unexpected money coming in or unexpected windfall of money coming in or yeah, it says shocking revelations or it's something about you knowing your self-worth and valuing, valuing yourself. That's going to lead to a shocking revelation. Yeah. Voodoo doll. Yeah. Manipulation, scheming and controlling bad influences. What's this have to do with my collective wasting time? Not worth it. Not worth waiting for prolonging the inevitable. Nothing good will come of it. We have cost. Yeah. See, <sighs> narcissism living in an illusion superficial relationship i don't know guys for some of you this person had to go through some type of karmic relationship like this was faded like that was part of their karma oh my gosh why is this card in here this is not even supposed to be in this deck but it says unexpected the answers you seek are coming and when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. So, yeah, this wasn't supposed to even be in that deck, but I'll take it as a message. But why is somebody mad here? See, somebody is mad because you're the one that somebody wants. Somebody definitely had a choice. Yep, look at this. Indecision. Somebody had a choice and somebody feels like they've been done wrong because... Somebody was being manipulated here. Somebody was wasting the other person's time. I'm telling you. Yep. Two possibilities. Yep. Clinging to an unhealthy relationship. Wow, guys, this is so clear. This person was clinging to an unhealthy relationship that was full of burdens while daydreaming and fantasizing and escaping wishful thinking about you. What? So. Yeah. Why were they trying? Why were they just not choosing the collective? If that's how they felt about you, why were they not choosing you? Because they were emotional. So whoever this other person is that they are, they have this unhealthy relationship with. It's very superficial, guys. Like they don't love that person. It's very surface level. It's probably just material, sexual. Like it's nothing deep and emotional. It's just it just is like for selfish reasons or for personal benefit. Okay. They, I know that I've been saying this a lot in my readings. I know this is going to sound weird as hell, but the reason why they haven't been choosing you is because this person is emotionally unavailable and you are the one that they have feelings for. So if you feel like this person has been avoiding you, they've been running from you, they haven't been choosing you, they've been rejecting you, they've, choos they've chosen somebody else over you and you just. Sorry, guys, I had an interruption. So, oh my gosh, this has a whole chunk of cards in it that aren't supposed to be in here. Oh my gosh. Wow, hold on, guys. How did these get mixed up like this? Hold on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so, like I was saying, somebody hasn't been choosing you. Because they would rather be in a super, they feel like all that they can handle right now is a superficial relationship because they're emotionally unavailable. Like they know that they have deep, intense emotions for you. They know what you guys, but it's like, they're not right there. It scares them. They're not ready to surrender to it. They're going to end up doing it as they heal. But um, they've been choosing to stay in superficial connections or to, to avoid getting too in too deep with you because they feel too much for you and they don't know how to handle that. All right. This person is very guarded. All right. Yeah. There's that card again. What about heavy burden on a pedestal? I'm telling you 
this person feels like they can maybe even feel like they're a burden to you or like they do have something unhealthy that they're clinging to that they've been choosing, kind of like choosing over you. But yeah, carrying old baggage, they need to release a lot of things. They need to heal from a lot of things. They have a lot of responsibilities as well, but it's like, yeah, they feel like you're out of their league. Yeah. Or there's somebody that they have an unhealthy relationship with. Oh, you know what this is? What is Ocean of Tears? Yeah. What about the past returns? Yeah. See, what happened here, guys? Wow. Yeah, they went back to somebody. This is somebody that they have history with, that, they're, that they've been having. I told you, they've been fighting and battling with this person. It says ongoing battle, weary and guarded, hurt in past relationships. Yeah, but that situation is coming to completion in the world. Yeah, but what's, what's happening here is that this person was clinging to some type of unhealthy relationship where they kind of like, they weren't wanting to come to terms with how toxic somebody was. Like they admired this person. They maybe even felt like this person was like too good for them or something like that. I don't know, but they just kind of was like, they were idealizing them. like ignoring their flaws but they put them on a pedestal and they like were denying how flawed they were and how unhealthy the relationship was see something to do with this solar eclipse we have a solar eclipse on october 14th that's going to be a significant time frame but these people that whoever this, this people or this person is putting on a pedestal are people that have caused them emotional loss sadness heartbreak like they're going to, if they went back to this person or they kept dealing with, they chose these people over you or this person over you, they're going to regret this. Because I feel like they decided to go back to something or they went back to a past person or something like that. But all that did was they could, they either left, they got left out in the cold for some of you. Or it's like they went, they are, they're staying or they're choosing a toxic situation over you because they have a scarcity mindset. Because they feel like they don't deserve more than that. That's all that they're used to. This person is used to this. They kind of put you on a pedestal. They, they don't feel good enough for you. I don't know how else to put it. But there's with the solar eclipse card, it says powerful changes of heart, cosmic intervention, unexpected major changes. So something is going to be happening. Significant unexpected changes. That's when that's probably going to happen around the solar eclipse, okay, that we're having on October 14th. Okay. Um. Let's get a few more cards. What is this like shocking realizations or whatever this person is about to have? Like they're going to have some type of change of heart around the solar eclipse. What is this spirit? I don't know if this is the deck I want to use. I don't think I want this deck. They're telling me not to use that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, healing. I'm telling you, they're at the end of something. They've been, they're codependent on these whoever this person is or these people are. But it says they're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection. Yeah. We have broken. Yeah, this is how they felt when they were dealing with you. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. We have the journey. This love journey may be long and challenging, but as so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. We have, yeah, there's mixed signals again. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not sure if they're into you or not. But look, they're into you because or they're about to realize they're, this is what they want with you because we have marriage. They see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. 
So, yeah, the player, look at this. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Yep, back and forth. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. We have, okay. Exhausted. Yeah, they have a lot of baggage, guys. Like, that's why things didn't work out between you and this person, too, because they, like, brought all their past shit into the relationship with you. Like, they had not even, like, begin begun to heal. You maybe triggered them to start healing. Or the, their desire to be with you has triggered them to start healing. But I feel like this person was holding everything in. They hadn't even hit, healed from anything yet. It says there's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. We have lustful desires. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. That's your person. Yep, dark night of the soul. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of, the, of love with themselves and the connection. See, yeah, betrayal. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. You just, Your soul deserves better, but why is betrayal here? Serendipity. Why is betrayal here? Sexual union. What is betrayal? Choices. The fact that they were juggling you. <laughs> their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. There is a choice they have to make. They know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. Yep, and they know that you're not playing with them anymore. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Yep. And we have fear. They just, I told you, they didn't feel good enough for this. They felt like it was too good to be true. They have, they have significant childhood wounds. You maybe do as well. They think, you know, because twins mirror each other. But it says they think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories. Because of them, you are too perfect to believe it's true. So they're keeping tabs on you. They're watching you. Wow, my left ear just started ringing. So that's receiving, yeah. Somebody's watching you. They've been watching you, your social media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. Yep. It, wow. Heavily watching you, investigating and watching you is here. Yep. Because they feel you pulling back your energy. Isn't that how it always works? They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and they convince you they're worth keeping. Yep. Plotting, strategizing, trying to figure out how to come towards you, how to offer you something. They're going to be going through some major tower moments and upheaval. That's going to really get, give them clarity. I told you they're going to start seeing everything for what it is. And that's what's leading them to decide that you are the one. Like, you're the one that they want to marry. You're the one that they want to settle down with. Um, but, yeah, the main gist that I'm getting from this is that they've been running from you because they feel too much for you. And this person is super emotionally unavailable. They're emotionally, they're avoidant. They, um, they do not know how to deal with these feelings and emotions that they have for you. I don't feel like they know how to deal with a lot of things. It's not even just the feelings and emotions that they have for you. But it's almost like your the feelings and emotions that they have for you is so significant that it's kind of like forcing them or making them address everything that they've been suppressing and like avoiding and idealizing and not wanting to see the truth about. Like this is like really your love and the connection with you and encountering you is literally changing this person's life. Like it's making them see, it's it's literally awakening them. And that's what twins do. It's like making them look at everything and everybody differently. Um, even if it is taking some time. It may, they're not just all realizing all of it at once. It's like as time goes on, they're really are they really are starting to realize things and see things differently. Okay.